The last component listed is comprehension. And in our text by Most and Brady, that they describe or some comprehension as good word recognition and language comprehension as well as oral fluency. And it goes further by stating that some of the number six of the principles and practices include you know, strategies for summarizing, clarifying, and questioning that any text in order to make sure that, that there was efficient comprehension. And in our YouTube video about singing strategies for comprehension, the teacher was instructing her students on word recognition and language comprehension by using the five senses, visualization, making inferences to other symbolism or other aspects of the story and tying in what they already knew and then summarizing. And in when it, our reading rockets text went further by saying that teaching comprehension requires monitoring what students do, what they do and don't understand, resolving problems, metacognition, which includes thinking about thinking and answering questions such as making sure that in order to find purpose, maintain focus, monitor and review what was read, and as well as generating their own questions of any text that they read, fiction or nonfiction, recognizing characters, settings, who, what, where, when, and why. And methods to do this include both in school and at home activities such as making graphic and semantic organizers because these are tools which show the relationships between different aspects of the story like the who, what, where, what, and why, and how and as well as creating well-organized summaries and other ex examples including maps and chain of events, forms, and lists and some comprehension issues that they listed are Students with dyslexia or hyper -dys dyslexia have opposite problems, such as those with dyslexia, perhaps understanding the meaning of language, but unable to have a form of automaticity to what it is they're visualizing and seeing in the text. Whereas those with hyperlexia have a strong grasp of the text, but have a problem with the oral fluency aspects. And with many of these strategies in mind that, especially with the seven strategies for reading comprehension, there are plenty of ways to use every one of these aspects to build to, for any student, exceptional or what you might call regular, the average readers, to learn in their own unique ways and be flexible to learn at their own pace while still keeping high expectations for automaticity and effective comprehension, fluency, reading skills. And with that, that I think that summarizes all the, the five aspects and I hope that touches on everything that we were given on in the assignment. And with that, I will wrap it up here. Thank you so much and I'm excited for what comes next. Thank you.